Hello everyone, my name is Calvin. Do you think I can be a successful chemist? Let us try to mix this one with this as well. And let's wait what will be the result. Now I realize how Albert Einstein got his iconic hairdo. Anyway, we are here together with my lab team to give some magic. Oh, no, no, no. To do some experiments that will show you the chemical reactions of some elements or compounds involved. Hello, everyone. Hello, my love team. Aww. Oh, that's Samantha. And she will be doing the salt oil lamp later. Guys, I'm so excited. Come on. Yes, that's Simon. Relax, man. By the way, he will later show you how to do a magic lava lamp. And me? I will be doing the volcanic eruption. Before we begin, we should exhibit to all our viewers that we are ready. Put your lab coats, wear your goggles, not those goggles, <laughs> safety goggles, and if necessary, wear your gloves. Don't forget to ask for assistance from the elders to avoid any unfortunate accidents. Alright guys, are you ready? Yes, yes we are ready. ready. There are times that we need to buy candles for emergency uses, especially during brownouts. But because of our chemistry subject, I learned that we can make light out of kitchen ingredients that we usually ignore. I am going to make a salt and oil lamp which is much cheaper and healthier than burning a candle made from paraffin. I have here cooking oil, salt, wick, match or lighter, and the glass container. The first step is to put one cup of salt in the glass container. Then you pour the one cup of cooking oil. And then you put the wick. Now if you don't have any wick in your home, you can make your own by combining two toothpicks and then by taping it and then wrapping it in a cotton. And then you have to put the wig. And there you go. You have an instant salt oil lamp which will last as long as you have enough oil to burn. Now why did I choose oil over water? Cooking oil is a common household item in every home and kitchen as we all know. As compared with water, there is no evaporation of oil since it breaks apart before it boils. Oil can be destroyed by heating it because it transforms into something other than oil. You can also burn it by heating it in the presence of oxygen which is what happens when your pan emits smoke. Why is there a need to put salt? Salt can cause the oil to break down early due to a chemical reaction. The oxidation of fatty acids accelerated by salt, causing the oil to break down. Moreover, salt doesn't dissolve in oil because oil has no charge at all. In other words, in the oil layer, the grains of salt remain suspended and not dissolving. Therefore, salt in oil is more beneficial for longer use than a salt in water. The positive part of water molecules attracts the negative chloride ions, while the negative part of water molecules attracts the positive sodium ions, allowing water to dissolve salt. Now, are you aware that to sprinkle table salt into liquid wax, the salt slow down, slows down the rate at which the wax melts, resulting in a longer, more cost-effective burn as if putting the candle in the freezer? Hurry up, Calvin. I'm so excited to share my lava lamp. Come on. Call me at your service. Today, I will share you my artistic lamp using these things in the kitchen. Vinegar, oil, I use kind of oil by the way, um, baking soda, and lastly, food coloring. Let's begin. I put 3 and 4 of baking soda in that empty canister. Then I poured a significant amount of oil, almost 3 and a half for part of this container. Then in a different measuring cup, I poured vinegar and with a syringe. I suppose red food coloring and mixed it with the vinegar. After that, I poured this mixture with the oil with baking soda. Ta-da! You can see how the red bubbles float to complete the effect. I used the flashlight of my cell phone and placed it in under the container. Created a lava lamp.
oil and vinegar are compatible when you pour vinegar in an old bottle. The vinegar sinks into the bottom while the oil floats to the top. Because vinegar is is heavier than oil. Oil oil floats on the surface. Vinegar has a higher density than oil. The vinegar combines with the baking soda as it falls through the oil at the bottom of the bottle, producing carbon dioxide gas. These bubbles cling to the colored vinegar, which causes it to float to the top. When the bubble bursts, the color returns to the bottle. bottle. Students can see chemical reactions in this simple and safe experiment. The materials that we need are Number 1 Sodium bicarbonate, also known as baking soda, which is NaHCO3. Number two, acetic acid, also known as vinegar, that is CH3COOH. Number three, water, also known as H2O. Number four, dishwashing soap, also known as C17H35COO. Number five, food coloring, recommended would be red and yellow. Number six, props for the volcano effect. And some containers. First, we have to mix the vinegar, water, and dish soap. Set them aside, get another container to mix the baking soda with small amount of water, just to make it slurry. And then drop a little amount of food coloring. If you are now ready, we will slowly mix the baking soda mixture with vinegar and water and dish soap. Just a reminder, don't close your eyes and you will experience a volcano lava flowing. How did it happen? Baking soda and vinegar? You'll get a reaction if you combine the two components, but it won't taste nice. Ugh. The correct proportions and containers can potentially make the mixture really explosive. Because baking soda is a base and vinegar is an acid, they react chemically. Baking soda is a sodium bicarbonate, which is a basic chemical. Vinegar is a diluted acetic acid solution. The interaction between baking soda and vinegar is actually two distinct reactions. The acid-base reaction is the first reaction. The hydrogen ions in the vinegar react with the sodium and bicarbonate ions in the baking soda when they are first steered together. Two new compounds are formed as a result of this initial reaction, carbonic acid and sodium acetate. A decomposition reaction is the second reaction, the carbonic acid generated in the first reaction begins to break down very immediately, releasing water and carbon dioxide gas. Carbon dioxide, produced when the carbonic acid decomposes, rises to the top of the mixture, much like carbon dioxide bubbles in a carbonated beverage. When you combine baking soda and vinegar, this produces the bubbles and foam you observe. And if you combine this mixture with liquid dish soap, it can make your baking soda and vinegar reactions even more bubbly, more dynamic effect. Adding food coloring to vinegar has the primary impact of changing the color of the vinegar. This is owing to the food colorings, coloring agents. Now, are you guys ready to do your own experiment? You can do it! Don't forget, adult supervision is needed. Good luck!